uh, what I'm going to start off doing is um, you can use uh, there. There are uh, special special tools called hive tools that you can use uh, to to pry apart the pry apart the pry apart the top bars, uh, or you can use a, a cut down an old cut down machete, worn down machete blade, or. Uh, uh, spatula, I think. I think my brother Hubert has a uh, spatula that he typically uses. Something like that is uh, is often very handy. And uh, uh, in failing all else, a, a knife blade uh, is is also a practical alternative. And what you're going to want to do is, as you will see as we get in, um, is you want to want to cut any uh, any comb that uh, the bees have attached to the sides of the sides of the hive you want to cut that loose any propolis which I'll explain a bit more about in a moment you want to cut that clean through great I had a little had uh, a little bit of resistance there because I was cutting through uh, propolis, and you can see the uh, propolis there, that kind of gooey, gooey brown stuff there, is propolis, and you can see uh, you can see the propolis here as well. You can see that's quite, quite gooey stuff. Mm -hmm. What that is is um, plant resins. That, that the bees collect, uh, they they collect it by uh, chewing it loose from the from the trees, and uh, bring it back to the uh, colony in pellets, much as they would do for pollen, and they use it to close up holes uh, around their nest. If uh, if it was a natural if it was a natural nest in a tree, they would actually varnish the branch that the uh, Homes are depending from on on either side, and that acts as a defensive mechanism against ants and other uh, insect pests, as well as uh, uh, microbial agents that might uh, rot the rot the pellets. So it acts as a it acts as a fungicide, um, and uh, it, uh, it it can actually also be uh, be put to use. Uh, as, a, as a as a medicine uh, for uh, for wounds on for, on animals, for instance, you make a poultice. Uh, if, a, if a horse or a, or a cow has a has a cracked hoof, you make a poultice out of the propolis, and that'll keep it from getting infected. So that would be a propolis poco, uh, pol <laughs> propolis poultice. Propolis <laughs> poultice. <laughs> An appropriate pro propolis poultice. <laughs> and uh, the uh, the honey is uh, as I may decide to talk about later on uh, can also be used for for similar purposes normally it's it's more precious so you would you would want to restrict its use to to uh, uh, wounds on humans but it has uh, uh, bacteriostatic antibiotic properties which will uh, you get a cut you wash the cut well with good clean water and then you can put honey on it as a wound dressing and uh, that'll prevent the wound from becoming infected. And uh, in those areas, uh, such as in Africa, where you, you wouldn't have ready access to a pharmacy, it's a, it's a, a good substitute. Right, it's a very handy substitute for uh, uh, antibacterial. Antibacterial, yeah. 